Hello there, this is a painting. I thought I was going to do a different painting to the painting that I actually ended up doing. So I, I, I painted it black and then I painted it green, thinking I was going to do a thyroid spire site on this picture. And then I put that to one side because it's quite a hard one that I'd chosen to do. And I will do it at some point, probably, but not yet. Uh, so then I decided to do this other picture of the Guardian site that I really liked, this screenshot. It's out at Sinuf. It's, um, it's Sinuf PX-J C25-8. And, and this is planet 7A. So it's the, uh, it's the nearest moon of uh, planet 7, which is a big old gas giant, class 4. So it's got rings and it hangs in the sky there. The thing I liked about this moon... Uh, is that, that it's got this moon moon <laughs> planet 7a a uh, they've all got a moon moon actually the the moons of this gas giant uh, i think i think they look really cool because they're so close this place that i'm painting it, it's smaller than earth's moon so it's a really tiny place but it's got its own little moon orbiting it and it looks fabulous the moon does it's all popped and cratered and there's evidence of splash and, and different colors of rock visible on the surface i like the complexity of the surface that's been generated and i i, I really enjoy drawing moons i think they look nice i was there at that guardian site primarily uh, gathering materials gathering certain materials that i need amongst the obelisks and ruins this one is a structure, which is a Guardian site that's got more bits to it than just a plain old little ruin. It's got a bit you can activate. And it's got pylons that you can drive around in your little buggy and, and shoot to wake them up. And then when they're woken, they, they send a beam of light up into the sky, make some great noises they do. And obviously with each, uh, each of the pylons that you wake up, you trigger the uh, long dead artificially intelligent defense system, the Sentinels, these little diamond shaped floating drone vehicles. And they have these missiles and they shoot you. And this is, uh, this is a picture of basically uh, a missile strike. Uh, and I, I really loved the way that the shining light and the trails of the missile as it came down really give the color, they shine off the whiteness of the surface of the moon you stood on and reflect their light onto all the things around. So it makes for quite a striking image, I think. The Sentinels have always looked amazing. I really like them. They've, they've got this kind of this, this almost iridescent blueness and the, the surface has got all these striations on it, almost like Nazcan designs and they're all weathered and almost like a circuit board look about them. I really love a Sentinel. They are kind of stupid. Uh, they can get stuck in the archways and just keep shooting at the archway, which you're behind. But also, the, you can get quite a lot of them. You can get up to a dozen of them spawn at these sites. So you, you can find they do damage you. For the most part, they are quite easy to shoot down, to be honest. But a lot of people take uh, a ship which has got point defence because that will just shoot them for you. If your ship's near enough to the, uh, the structure, that your ship will it'll just handle them for you, which is quite useful. <laughs> this site's got uh, a module blueprint that you can pick up by um, activating it. You activate all of the pylons and then you can uh, drop a relic up at the top of the site and it will throw out a blueprint, which you can then use back in the bubble. Uh, you can trade with a tech broker, but for something like a, a Guardian frameshift drive booster, it's super useful because they do, they add like say 10 light years distance onto your spaceship and you'll be able to just go further faster, which is super convenient. But some of the blueprints are less useful now, I reckon. Some of the weapon blueprints, uh, possibly, uh, although I think the shards are still pretty useful and I, I like using Gauss cannons, but um, some of them do get neutralized in systems with the Thargoids which is where you're using them, basically. You can pick up um, a resistance modification uh, from uh, one of the engineers, Ramtar, which will make them proof against uh, the Titan systems so they don't suffer damage. But then they also don't do as much damage, so it's sort of, it swings and roundabouts, and uh, it's quite easy to go to any one of the rescue ships in the bubble and pick up human-designed uh, weaponry to shoot the Thargoids with instead. 
Uh, I, I've just uh, had a little glance while I've been making this video and I've realised I've got to go back there because I have uh, four too few of the Guardian technology components that I need. So I need to go and shoot some little... Ang you can see it actually in my painting uh, down on the bottom left, very far distance. It's just visible underneath one of the other earthworks. You can spot the angled pillar. The shootable compartments in there, they drop. Well, sometimes they drop the technology components. So that's where I'll be going. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching and uh, I shall probably draw another picture soon. Bye.